Hey everyone, welcome back. In this Trello tutorial, we are going to learn how to use Trello for project management. So project management within Trello is absolutely easy and simple. And as we have discussed in the previous tutorials, there are so many templates that are available according to the usage that you want to use Trello for in your organization. So if you are a marketing team of your or if you're a HR team, so there are already a lot of templates that are available by default but in case you do not want to use any of those you can create your custom workflow or lists basically so let's quickly go ahead into Trello and understand how you can use Trello for project management so first thing I'll go to the workspace which is the generic workspace I created and in this workspace I'll show you some uh, of the examples for project management for software development etc so first thing you have to do is create a workspace now say for example you are a HR team and you want to manage the HR project so basically you will first create a workspace and you will then try to find the templates that are relevant for the HR workflow if not not, then within your team you can define your own workflow so let's go ahead and see what all templates are available so in order to see the templates what you can do is you can simply go to the board so here you can click on the plus or click on create a board so if I click on create plus you will see that I can start with a template right so let's go ahead first and check what all templates are available so click on start with templates and here you will see all of the templates so now we are interested into the project management for this one right so you will see that HR and operations have separate templates but as of this tutorial we are more interested into the project management so let's go to the project management and see what all uh, what all default templates are available so say for example you'll see here we have client workflow management we have the project budgeting and time tracking then we have this project management right so this is from the Trello itself so simple and easy for us to go ahead and start using it so if you click on this project management template it will give you a workflow or the list the process that this particular template will follow right so you will see that the project resources what are the questions and this is basically what the flow will look like or what the lists will be and these are some of the tasks within the list so to do pending blogged and done right so very simple workflow now in this workflow if say for example you do not want any of the columns to be there you can remove it or you can you know archive it and you can add your own column so this is one of the template if we go to project management you will see a lot of other templates available as well so let me quickly walk you through so for example government government uh, project management right so uh, great people creating these template and sharing basically right so you can see um, you know video production if you are doing so you can directly go ahead and use any of these templates that are available in the project management section okay or you can simply click on start with a blank board wherein you will be creating a blank board altogether then you will be creating the lists and the tasks okay so for now let's quickly go ahead and start with this project management template that is from the Trello marketing team as you can see it is very widely used right so we'll simply use the template and to use it simply say use the template okay now we will we have to choose the title for this particular project so for example I will simply say just add RCV project management and then wherever you want to use this template so basically we want to use it in the RCV Academy workspace which is generic workspace that I'll be using for most of the examples so this board will be workspace visible so it will be visible in this workspace and if you want you can keep the cards that are available on this template to for your reference you can delete them right later or and you can keep the template cards as well okay then you have this activity and members will not be copied to the new board so we'll simply keep the cards to give you an example and show you how the cards and templates will look like so simply click on the create and once you click on create it will create the board within that particular workspace okay so let's go to the so it it has redirected us already and now you will see this is what the RCV project management board which is the name that we have provided will look like and with all of these lists right so these columns that you see are known as lists in Trello and the work item that you see or the items that you see if you click on these these are the 
tasks that need to be done so say for example if i go to the to do work right so it gets site banner so say, say for example uh, there is a project for which there is a task that needs to be done which is sketching the site banner then the task has been created and uh, the label design team has been added and now how these labels have been added i have already explained in the previous tutorial but i'll quickly walk these you through so these are the labels that are by default available as part of this template right so you can edit these labels so using the template what it helps is you keep whatever you need and then you delete or archive whatever you don't need so you do not have to do all the work from the ground up basically you do not have to create a blank board and then create everything um, from the scratch so you have the columns now say for example i do not want any of the columns here right so i can say for example this one i mean most probably you'll you'll need pending but i'm just showing you an example so i can simply go to this card here right or the list click on the ellipsis there and then archive this list if i'll click on archive the list will be hidden right so it will be archived and it won't be available anymore say for example i want to have the another list with the name in progress right so I can add that in progress and click on add list and then move this list after to do. So we have to do in progress. And then if there is something which is blocked or some card that is blocked, that needs to be moved into the blocked column. And once the work is done, it, it's need, it will go into the done column. So say, for example, a person within the team. So who is responsible for designing the side banner or sketching the side banner? What you will do is here is you'll simply open the card as a project manager and search for the member so there is only one um, member let's see there are no other members so we need to invite so as of now say for example I assign this task to the member that is available here we'll simply assign it and then close it right now as part of this work item once the person has been assigned this work they'll start working so they'll move the card to in progress right once the work has been done they'll open the card and will update so if there is something co comment that they need to add say for example please review the work right and save the comment so this comment has been saved also as part of the comment they can also just put at the rate and then they can also mention the people that are there in the team right so at the moment i'm at the moment i'm just mentioning the same person who is there because there is just one user but there will be more users so say for example then the person can mention the name so say for example if i'll say at the rate the name of the person then save it then that person will be basically notified that someone has mentioned you on a particular card that you need to go ahead and review so you can get the notification please review the work and you can review this banner work that they have done they can also attach the screenshot so say for example from the computer they can attach the screenshot or from other locations so you have the integ integration from google drive dropbox etc so you can attach the work that needs to be reviewed and you can provide the description in the description detail to save it okay there are a lot of formatting help options that are available so you can go to the formatting help and you can see how you are going to create the say for example lists or how to you know bold cre create the bold or add the bold say for example if you just say double star double star right and then just say bold so this if you save you that will be saved as bold so simply what you need to do is the best way to see all the help is go to the formatting help and everything is available here there is no need to memorize each and everything as such so you will see if you once you start using trello you will see once or twice if you refer to this particular list you will be good enough or you'll have all the knowledge that you're that is required to do the bold or create the list etc okay so that's about the description then in the uh, you know labels i have already discussed you can add more labels as required so once the work has been basically completed and reviewed then this person will move this card to done right so this is the normal usual flow in any of the project right so there is a work that needs to be done the work gets assigned to the person that that will be doing that particular work and once that person starts the work once they complete they will get it reviewed they'll add the logs or attachments and once the work has been done they'll move it to done if the work gets blocked then they block the work or
or move the call move the work item to the blocked column right so this is a brief you know sort of a workflow that you can get or project management workflow that you can get directly out of the template okay in case you are not happy with all of the details that are there in this particular template what you can do is you can simply create a new board which is basically a blank board so say for example i'll say blank board this time so rcv project management blank board in this particular workspace and i'll create a board right so and here in the right hand side this is the color coding or the background that that will be picked up so let me pick this particular color and click on create board so in this particular case you will see it is a blank board altogether so there is nothing as such that is being added so you can now creating or you can now start creating the list right so you can say there is a to do right column right or we can say backlog column and then to do and then something like in progress blocked and done right so just a basic sort of workflow list that you have created and now from here you can start adding the work item or the cards right so say for example design logo you can add the card okay then design banner okay so something like that and then if you open this work item or the card then you you can add the label so by default these labels are there the color coding you can edit and you can select the color and the name of the color right so say for example this is the design the de all the design tasks will be added this this particular label right so i'll simply say design and then add this particular label to this particular task right so this is how the label will be added okay then in the check checklist you can create a checklist of the item so say for example designing the logo will require a lot of simple or mini items within this particular task so i can simply say uh, subtasks okay and then within the subtask i'll say research other logos say for example just hypothetically okay and then discuss with designer so these two subtasks are part of this whole design logo so all of the subtasks or the mini items work items will be added as a, added as a, added as a checklist then once the work will be done the person who is doing the work will be basically updating this checklist right and will be moving the work further okay so say for example this work has been done they'll come back and check it and you will see the progress will be marked once the work has been done it will be completed and then they'll basically move it so you'll see that checklist appears two of two items have been completed and uh, basically prior to updating the checklist they'll move it to you know um first it will be moved to to do to do then they'll move it to in progress then they'll update the checklist right so then they'll mark this work as done once the work has been done and then the work will be you know finally the card will be moved to done so there are a lot of customization that will be required in terms of designing this whole workflow so basically list creation then labels checklist then you can assign the dates so due date etc so that will be from the dates attachment is from any of the work item that needs to be done as i discussed you can attach the work item or the file or any of the requirements that need to be attached there okay and then if you want to add the cover right so cover is something if i'll say for example add this particular cover to this card right to this work item you will see how the this this is how the cover will look like okay um personally i do not use you know this, these sort of you know cover a lot because it it uh, looks a lot you know better with just text the work item there okay um so this is brief about the project management process and how you can use the template within trello to do project management or you can create the blank sort of uh, uh, board and then use that board to create your own workflow which is basically lists in trello and add the cards and progress your work for the project management the other important thing as as a project manager is whenever you are creating a board you want to invite you will be having a team right so to invite the team here you simply click on invite and invite the team members right so say for example here i will simply add the emails of the team member right and then send invitation and these members will now be notified and once they join the team all of these members will be available or able to join this particular team right so now if i say for example go to let's say i'll create another card okay let's say go to design banner and i want to co comment someone or uh, mention someone so if i'll say at the rate john right so I start with john it will just send, uh, automatically 
automatically search the matching names and then I can specify the comment so that person will be notified once the comment will be made right so that person will be automatically notified so you'll see the members whosoever are the members of the team will be basically available in the team okay so that's a brief introduction about how you can do project management within trello very easy simple process within 15 20 minutes you'll be up and running with just the free version of trello and start using trello for doing project management for your projects so that's all for this tutorial i hope it was helpful thank you very much for watching